I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. <laughs> Not true. Eventually, history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. When I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? What's it all about? And um, I came to the conclusion that uh, what, what really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. The most important mis mistake I see smart people making is assuming that they're smart. They're not. Yep. You want to do projects that are inspiring and that make people excited about the future. Um, li life's got to be about more than just solving problems. You want to get up in the morning and say, yes, I'm looking forward to that thing happening. Space is one of those things that I think almost everyone is inspired by. And if you asked people what was the most inspiring event in history, it was probably landing on the moon. You know, if you ask people anywhere. We can bring life as we know it uh, and, and breathe life into Mars where it, it doesn't exist today. Um, and ensure that if there is some cataclysmic event on Earth, that life as we know it continues to exist.
a certain probability that is irreducible uh, that something may happen to Earth. Despite our best intentions, despite everything we try to do, the, the, there's a probability at a certain point that some either external uh, force or some internal unforced error uh, causes civilization to be destroyed. My sort of personal ideology is, is kind of split right now between trying to be helpful on Earth-related stuff, which is sustainable energy, and then trying to you know, advance space technology so we can establish a self-sustaining city on Mars. But I do think it's important to be a multi-planet, not just one planet, but another planet. Implant connects wirelessly to a wearable device called the Link, which can be configured through an iPhone app. People see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. As an agency, we want to go to Mars and even beyond. And of course, we're very excited about the excitement that Elon, and Elon is bringing to this, that SpaceX is bringing to this idea of humans expanding throughout the solar system. the 
the things that are in science fiction novels and movies not to be science fiction forever. We want them to be real one day. <laughs>